Hey, what's up guys? My name is Benji. I'm going to give you a brief introduction of the Mellotron and the Mellotron M4000D. This is a digital version of the original Mellotron, um, which was invented in 1963 in England. It's a fantastic instrument. Uh, it's a sample-based synthesizer. It plays back samples that were recorded onto analog tape rather than just playing back digital samples. And it's, it's really fantastic. One of the things I love about it personally is the mix control that we have on it. You can mix between the whole sound bank. You can have flutes in one and strings in the other and go anywhere, you know, naught to 100 between each sound. Really gives you some unique flavors. I love it. I use it on every production I do at the moment. Um, and I've been making a lot of loops with it this year. So I'm going to go into my process on that a bit later. Some of the recordings that you can hear the classic Mellotron on, uh, the Beatles used it a lot. They used it on the White Album. They also used it on Strawberry Fields Forever, which might be one of the most famous examples of it. David Bowie used it on Space Oddity. Uh, and Radiohead used it on OK Computer, which is an awesome album, which everyone should check out. Straight out of the box, it's got a ton of amazing samples. You've got choir vocals, solo vocals, bra brass, strings, pianos, electric pianos, woodwinds, marimbas. Uh, mandolins, vibraphones, an accordion sound, super extensive. So I highly recommend checking it out. I'm just going to go through the controls with you quickly. You've got the sound select A, sound select B. You can also use these two knobs to go through the settings, change your preferences, etc. You've got standard octave, goes down one, goes up one. You've got the mix, as I mentioned earlier, between sound A, sound B. Pitch is a really cool part of this you've got seven semitones down seven semitones up so i'll play with this bit later and you can hear that in action you've got the tone wheel which just goes from making the tone slightly darker to slightly brighter and then you've just got the volume knob so yeah here i go i'm gonna show you my loop process when i use the mellotron and i hope you enjoy Just gonna flexi time it, quantize it a bit, make sure it's in time, it feels tight. I really like that. I'm gonna put elastic pitch on it. Highly recommend checking this plugin out. It's a sick plugin. Just gonna drop it down four. Yeah, I really like that. Let's try some flutes now. Here's the flute sound. I've actually already got a distortion plug in on. I'm just gonna turn it. I'm gonna crank this a little bit. Yeah, it's lovely. That's sounding quite quite good i was just using that pitch bend a lot there i really love using that on flutes you get a super interesting portamento feel with it okay let's try some mandolins now again i really love this sound it's a super oh it's on my track i really like those rolling notes I'm gonna try and use a couple of the different ma mandolin sounds in one tank, so let's see how I do. I think that last, the most recent tank was the best. So I'm gonna go with that. Cool. And now some guitars. I love the guitars in this. I really love using it with elastic pitch as sort of a more organic bass sound before adding 808s or, you know, a synth.
Again, I'm going to use elastic pitch with this. I'm just going to put it down the octave. In fact, I'm going to do it down two octaves. Really like that. That's cool. Let's go. So that's just a quick loop with the Mellotron. Didn't take a lot of time, but you, you can get, you know, vibes really quickly just playing around some few simple chords. Yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to comment, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Let us know what you want to see next. Let me know what your thoughts were if you guys found this useful. Let's go. Have a listen. Thank you.